Hi guys, welcome to Global Friends channel. My name is Modesta Vadaria and today's video is devoted for all of you who are planning their departure to United States very soon, especially to all of our work and travel USA participants. The video is going to be short and easy, but the tips that I'm going to share with you are going to be so helpful with establishing a great relationship with your future uh, US employer and also make your summer much more easier, smoother and happier. Here. If you haven't subscribed to this channel before, please do it right now. Also, feel free to like this video. That helps algorithm to push our videos and share useful information with even more people. And we are about to begin. Global Friends company is primarily working with the students from Uzbekistan. That is why today's video is going to be especially useful to Uzbek students. And I'll talk a lot about Uzbekistan. But if you are a work and travel participant and if you're traveling to US from any other country, the video is still going to be helpful to you as well. Let's start with my favorite Uzbek students. You have to keep in mind that you are coming to United States not only to learn about US culture, American culture, eat American food and also improve your English level, but you're always also gonna share with Americans what Uzbekistan is and share your Uzbek culture with a lot of Americans. Yes, you will meet some people who have never heard about Uzbekistan but that's okay that's why you're coming and that's why I'm so excited that you will teach them what Uzbekistan is and you will share your culture with them the easiest and the best way to start doing it is to be prepared bring some small souvenirs with you from Uzbekistan to US and share those souvenirs give it to your employer give it to your landlord by doing that you will help them understand what Uzbekistan is really is about and also just establish great relationship with them at the very beginning they'll see that oh my gosh that's such a nice student he came prepared he's not coming there to US you know to demand um, from your employer to do whatever but you're coming with the great intentions and you are showing from the very beginning how hospitable and how nice uh, Uzbek people are a lot of people are excited about bringing Uzbek food to Americans which is a great idea but be mindful and just you know be cautious be be understanding that a lot of Americans have never tried Uzbek food and yes I know I personally love Kurt I eat it all the time but uh, most of my American friends who uh, were brave enough to try it they didn't really like it and that's okay that's their culture you know there, there's some American food or some other foods that we don't like be mindful to that and be okay with that I don't recommend you bringing a lot of Kurt but if you do just be prepared that customs may actually take because it from you and I would be so sad if it goes to waste because they're not gonna eat it they're just gonna throw it away so my recommendation is not to bring Kazi uh, just keep it for the next time next time when you have visitors coming to visit Uzbekistan from US you can share fresh Kazi with them and they would appreciate it much more I have a few examples of what kind of uh, presents usually do good with American employers um, something like that pomegranate that's a small souvenir that can be used as a candle holder or it can go on the desktop and you can put some pencils and pens in there uh, that's um, a great representation of you know like what pom pomegranate means to Uzbek culture and you can actually talk to your employer and express like, explain what you feel like about this souvenir um, a cup like that Americans love bright prints like that so um, that's gonna do so good um, if you give it to someone just make sure you they know that they cannot put this in a dishwasher because Americans are all about uh, living their life easy way so they would definitely try to put it in a dishwasher just make sure to warn them one of my favorite souvenirs is this uh, money magnet this magnet can go in the fridge or somewhere else but this is a great way to uh, tell them more about what kind of money we use in Uzbekistan and what can you actually buy for 50,000 sums in Uzbekistan. Something small like that for women, you know, say like, um, some purses or a makeup bag holder. Um, again more magnets there are actually small figurines that you can buy in Chursu bazaar if from if you're from Uzbekistan you know what Chursu is so just go to Chursu and pick something you really like I have small purse here like it's, it can be used as a backpack you can also bring um, some sweets and um, 
dried berries, um, suha fructe, that's what we call it in Uzbekistan. Uh, but again, don't, I, I feel like this is way too big of a package. If you can find something smaller, bring something smaller. While you will meet a lot of uh, adventurous people who will be willing to try the food, you will still meet a lot of people who would be like, uh, you know, souvenir sounds better so bring small souvenirs um yes this cup is probably a little bit too big and it can be broken on the way to you to you so you can bring something smaller than that this is just an example this is what i have in my house and this is what i wanted to show you as an example so after you packed your souvenirs uh the next thing is to do to obviously pack your clothing my strong suggestion to you please do not bring too much clothing with yourself to us because shopping in us is amazing especially if you're from uzbekistan and from other post-soviet union countries you will enjoy shopping in us so much trust me uh, when i came to us with my work and travel program i literally had the bag this big i only had um, my uh, towel few t-shirts and few pants and two pairs of uh, shoes that's it i didn't have anything else when i was living us i had two huge overfilled suitcases and also two more carry-on bags because i bought so many presents i got so much clothing because i just loved and enjoy shopping in us you will see uh, that you can buy the branding branded clothing for such a small amount of money and i'm sure you will take advantage of that i suggest you take advantage of it but because you still have to travel back home please do not bring a lot of clothing so that you don't have to throw it away here in us or you don't have to struggle or pay for the you know, overweight once you travel back to Uzbekistan or your own country. So just be mindful of that. For sure, read your job description and make sure you bring some clothing that would be useful for you for work. Like if your employer is requiring you to have a black top and uh, white, you know, bottoms or vice versa, just make sure you're prepared for your employment and that's it. Just take basic things that you need once you come to US to rest you will buy trust me and that also leads me to the next point where you have to bring cash with you because while the shopping is amazing in us things are expensive and at the very beginning you while you're settling down you don't know where to shop you don't know where, what stores you know to go to uh what transportation to use and so on and so on there are so many things that you can spend money on so it's best if you come prepared make sure to have at least 1500 um dollars with you once you come here to the US because your first salary will be actually paid to you much later but that's a conversation for another video that I'll film for you and explain to you in detail how you will receive your paycheck what you need to do in order to apply for social security number and what is social security number so make sure to subscribe to this channel like this video and I'll see you soon in other videos bye bye